friends, welcome to a very spooky episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup. I'll be your ghost host and today's treat will be a frightfully delicious pumpkin spice sandwich cookie filled with cream cheese icing and shaped to look like jack-o'-lanterns. How delightfully creepy! All right, let's go! Let's begin by creaming together the butter and sugars. Here I have three sticks or one and one half cups of softened butter. To this we will add one half cup of light brown sugar and one quarter cup of white sugar. Beat this in a mixing bowl until it becomes very light and fluffy. Next, we will add in one teaspoon of vanilla and one quarter cup of canned pumpkin. Delicious. I am also going to add a little bit of food coloring at this point. I want my cookies to look like pumpkins, so I'm adding a little bit of red and yellow food coloring to turn them orange. I find that adding the food coloring to the wet ingredients allows me to blend it in well without worrying about over mixing the dough. All right, we are gonna mix this until well combined. Now let's work on our dry ingredients. In a separate bowl, I have three cups of sifted flour. To this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one quarter teaspoon of cloves, one quarter teaspoon of allspice, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Woo, that's a lot of spices, but trust me, it will be so worth it. We're gonna whisk them together until well combined. Next, it's time to combine our wet and dry ingredients. Add your flour mixture to the mixing bowl in three separate portions, mixing until just combined in between each addition. Once your dough is complete, it will need to be chilled before we can move on to the next step. Wrap your dough in parchment paper and place in the refrigerator for at least one hour. This will help make it easier to roll out and cut into shapes. Once your dough has been properly chilled, it's time for the fun part, cutting them into fun Halloween themed designs. I'm cutting mine to look like jack-o'-lanterns, and I found just the most perfect cookie cutter to do so. This wonderful cookie cutter was 3D printed. How fascinating. The website I got it from has just so many different designs, and you can get them in all different sizes. I will share the link to where I got them in the description below. To begin cutting your cookies, you'll want a flat, clean, and lightly floured surface. I like to lay down some parchment paper myself as the cookies are less likely to stick and it makes cleanup so much easier. Roll out your dough evenly. As we are making sandwich cookies, you will want your dough to be quite thin. I would say about an eighth of an inch thick. Dipping your cookie cutter into the flour between each cookie, carefully cut out your pumpkin shapes and place them on a cookie sheet. Be sure to make an even amount as we will be sandwiching these cookies together. Once they are on the sheet, cut out little eyes and a mouth on half of your cookies. These will be the tops of your sandwich cookies. This part can be quite fiddly, which is why I like to do it once they are already on the cookie sheet. Now it's time to bake them. Bake your cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for eight to 10 minutes or until lightly browned on the edges. Allow your cookies to cool for a few minutes before transferring to a wire rack to complete their cooling. 
All right, it's time to assemble. I'm going to fill them with the delicious cream cheese icing. You can learn how to make this icing in my previous episode by clicking the link above or find the link in the description. I have colored my icing a lovely bright yellow so that when the icing shows through the eyes of the pumpkin, it looks like they are glowing. How fun and spooky. Carefully take the bottoms of your cookies and pipe icing evenly onto them. Then complete the look by taking the cookie with the eye and mouth cut out and placing it on top. And voila! You have some delightful, spooky, and scrumptious jack-o'-lantern cookies just in time for Halloween. These are sure to be the life of any party and will mysteriously disappear in no time. I hope you enjoyed these fun cookies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you try these cookies for yourself, be sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag BakeMeUpButtercup. Until next time, mwah! Yeah. Ah!